Welcome back. When I started coaching, I had a policy that if anybody asked me a question more than once, particularly via email, I would write an article about it. So I wrote an article. I'm still getting the question. So new policy, video clip, breaking it down, just the essentials for you. Now, every morning when you wake up, you've got a decision to make. And it's a simple one. Are you gonna load, add stress, or are you gonna focus on adapting to prior stress? That's it. Now, I use morning and evening resting heart rate seated to make that assessment. I'm gonna tell you how I do it. Morning, I use an app called HRV for training. I'll put the link in the channel notes for you. And you can use the camera on your phone to sample the heart rate. I use a Polar H10 strap. And I take a two minute sample. If you're rushed for time, just get the sample. It can be a one minute sample. And all you wanna check is, are you in your normal range? And this time of year in the Northern Hemisphere is a great time to learn what your normal range is. Training load will be down. Stress hopefully is relatively low for you as well. And you can get a healthy baseline. And it's probably gonna be about a five beat range for your normal range. And if you're normal, all good. You've got, got the reading. It's not necessarily a green light. We'll talk about that in part two. At the end of the day, I do an evening sample just before I go to bed. Seated on the couch, relax for a few minutes before I take it. You can use your camera phone, cam the camera to sample the heart rate if you want. Again, I'm using the Polar H10 strap. The app, HRV for biofeedback. Now, if you want, you can do biofeedback, but the information I want is actually just what's my resting heart rate at the end of the day. It gives me a look at how much the day took out of me. More importantly, it gives me an incentive to relax myself across the day, to settle and start the adaptation and absorbing process immediately after I do my training. I do most of my training before lunch, so in the morning, so I have the rest of the day to absorb it. Now, next time we're gonna talk about how I use these normal ranges to decide on loading. It's a very simple rule of thumb that I think is gonna help you a lot. Thanks for listening.